so we just started using it a couple weeks ago um you know we had we had it installed in like january um but we had a couple issues just on installation not on your guys end but also just on some of our inlet pressures and stuff like that um so we just started using it about like about a week and a, about a week and a half ago we can finally commission the system and you know to be fair uh it was a little bit it, it seemed like it was going to be a little bit of a challenge with coronavirus and not being able to have Ted come in and the rest of that stuff. But we've been able to make all the adjustments uh, online or else uh, or else I, I've been able to take photos of things and just kind of send them to Ted and we've been able to kind of work through it. But the system's working great. You know, we had a pretty rudimentary training when Ted was in town and did it originally and then you know to be fair we had 60 days where we didn't really use the system because we were waiting for parts or waiting for this or waiting for that you know and for us to jump back in and to get it going was relatively seamless you know uh both myself and my partner and and you know when i called ted you know he was very receptive we're on east coast time and i'm getting into work at uh seven in the morning and firing out emails and you know ted was pretty receptive at what i know was 5 36 a.m colorado time so um you know i really appreciate it for sure so basically right now because of the whole coronavirus thing uh we've split our teams into two different we've split our grow team into two separate teams and because of that, I'm not able to be there for a week. So basically what ends up happening is we're working seven days on, seven days off. So when we're not in, the other team is working. Uh, so basically, you know, we set them up so that I know everything needs to be mixed. And basically those guys uh, tell me when the tank is empty and I basically mix the juice up for the back. So basically uh, all they still have to do is mix those front tanks that are still hand mixed. But in the back, they just tell me what they need and I, uh, I take care of it from the house. It's really nice to be able to make those micro adjustments and have everything be live. You know, have the dashboard be live and reading out everything that's live. So it's, it's definitely, um, it's taken a lot of the guesswork out of it. And I think one of the nice things will be being able to track what we mixed, you know, and seeing the, the, the what we did as far as, hey, this round, we ran our ACs at 2-2, and this round we ran our ACs at 1-8. You know what I mean? What was the difference? What did we see? So, the nice thing is, you know, my guys were the first to point this out. The time that they're not spending making juice, they can spend time actually taking care of plants. We just had an expansion. We added another 300 plus lights in our facility. So, we're up to 634, 630 something. And, uh, and we were able to hit the back running pretty seamlessly. You know, we were able to just kind of hop right in there. And, you know, our first, our first room was 1.5. Our second room was like 1.8. You know, the next rooms are looking like they're going to be 2.3. So, you know, we were already able to come in and kind of beat our marks in the first round, which I think as anybody knows, an expansion is a challenge. I tell my guys all the time, you know, plants don't care about your personal problems. Like they need to be watered. They don't care about Christmas or New Year's or any of those things. And so at least being able to keep them alive from an automation standpoint is, is massive. It, it really it takes a lot of the, it takes a lot of the nerve wracking part of it out. Cause that's one of the things, you know, you know, I've been doing this 24 years, you know, and that's one of the things you would always be scared of is walking into a room that didn't get watered. And you're just like, Oh, oh my God, this is terrible. Or a room where the lights or a room where the lights stayed on. And so having, you know, having ways to monitor and kind of fix that yeah, really, it makes the difference. You know, in a basement, maybe you lose 20 grand, but in one of these rooms, you might lose a half a million to a million, you know, and, and spending a little bit of money to kind of cut those problems off at the pass. You know, I, I, I say it all the time, you know, a dollar today is, is worth 20 down the line if you, if you save a harvest, you know, so um, catastrophic crop loss is never, is never fun. And, you know, in hindsight, you always look back and go, God, I could have spent, 
just this much money and saved it all, you know? So, 